Okay, so we're still in the chapter on diagonalization, and we were looking at uh, in products norms and orthogonality was the thing we were looking at orthogonality. Okay, so we looked at what it means for vectors to be orthogonal. Now we're going to look at what it means for matrices to be orthogonal. Okay, so an invertible real-valued matrix Q is called orthogonal if the inverse of Q equals the transpose of Q. An invertible complex-valued matrix is called unitary if the inverse of Q equals the conjugate of the transpose of Q. Okay, so this so far is quite an arbitrary definition, but here's an example. Consider the rotation matrix um, in, in R2. So it's got to rotate by theta through anti-clockwise. So it's cos theta sine theta minus sine theta cos theta. Now if you take R and times it by its transpose, so the transpose of R will, that will be, of course, be cos, cos theta minus sine theta, sine theta cos theta. Top row, first entry you get you know, is cos squared theta, cos squared theta plus sine squared theta, just one. Then here, you, next uh, here you get row one column two. You get cos sine theta minus sine cos theta to zero. You get here you get row two column one. You get sine cos theta minus cos sine theta to zero, and then row two column two. You get sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. Just one. Okay, so you see that the transpose is working like the inverse. So the transpose is the inverse. Okay, so. For R, the inverse of R is equal to, this proves the inverse of R is equal to the transpose of R, which means that R is orthogonal. Now, notice that the columns of R are an orthonormal set, form an orthonormal set. Okay, let's check, let's check that. So, we want to check that cos theta, the vector, we want to check what the inner product of the vector cos theta sine theta with the vector minus sine theta cos theta is. What's this inner product? Well, it's cos theta minus si it's minus cos theta sine theta plus sine theta cos theta, which is zero. Okay. So that means that those two columns are orthogonal to each other. However, they are also orthonormal. Okay. So what's the what is the norm of cos theta sine theta, or what is the inner product of it with itself square rooted? Well, it's cos square theta plus sine square theta, which is one. And uh, what's the norm of Sin th minus sine theta, cos theta, second column, the same thing, right? Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, which is one. Okay, so these columns are also, each column is also normal, has a, mag has a magnitude, has a norm of one. So they're orthogonal and they're normal, so they form an orthonormal set. And in fact, this is always true for orthogonal matrices. The columns of an orthogonal matrix form an orthonormal set. Okay, so this is more or less why, I, as I understand it, why we call these, these kinds of matrices where the inverse does equal the transpose, we call them orthogonal because their columns are orthogonal and normal. So it's a bit confusing. You have the columns of an orthogonal matrix are an orthonormal set. Not just an orthogonal set, but an orthonormal set. Okay. We're going to prove this now. So consider an orthogonal matrix A, okay, which we write as these are its columns, okay. Uh, since A is orthogonal, we know that a, A transpose, so assuming that A is orthogonal, so we know that A times A, tra A transpose is the inverse, so then A times A transpose or A transpose times A is identity, okay? So A transpose times A, so let's do that. Here's A transpose, here's A, okay? So the rows of A transpose, of course, are the transposes of the columns of A, okay? So now you do this matrix multiplication. So what, so, it's a, you're going to have, um, to do, to make, get this entry here, right? You need to go, you go along a row, the top row, multiplying it by the entries in this row, in this column, right? So really what you're doing is you're taking the, you're taking, you're going along the top row, which is A1 transpose, multiplying each entry by the entry in, a, in column A1, okay? So really you're taking, Really, this end product, or well, this dot product of this dot product of row one with column one. Okay, 
same energy for row one, column two. It's really the dot product, effectively, of row one with column two. Uh, in general, that's the same for ijth entry is going to be like this, right? So you get this whole matrix. But we've said that these columns, well, so we've said that A is an orthogonal matrix, so that means that this A transpose times A must be, must be identity. Okay, so we're saying that this matrix here is identity. Okay, so that means that all these diagonal entries are ones. Okay, in other words, A1 transpose A1 is one, same for A2 transpose A2, okay? So in other words, the inner product of every vector with itself is one, okay? And after diagonal, you have the inner product of the vectors with the other vectors, right? So like a to n with two, or a one with n, and so on. And those must those all, must all be zero because it's an identity matrix. So we have the off diagonal elements being zero. So every pair of vectors is orthogonal. So this set is this set of vectors is orthonormal. Okay. Um, this is the case for so this is the this is about all about real matrices, right? Okay. But there was this also this thing about a complex value matrix called unitary of Q inverse equals Q transpose. So of course that's because when you're taking when you're considering complex value matrix, now the inner product you want it so we're saying that suppose we have A is unitary, right? That means that A inverse equals the, the conjugate of the transpose. Okay, which means this, right? Um, it means, let's see, it means A times A conjugate transpose equals A the conjugate of the transpose times A, right, which equals identity matrix. So we try and do this proof again for this case, for the complex case of the complex matrix being unitary. Okay, we're saying that A has these, we're saying A is unitary, and now let's say it has these columns. Okay, then we look at, at that, okay, so it's going to be a transpose conjugate, a n transpose conjugate, and here we're going to have a1 all the way to a n. Now you do that multiplication, you get a1 transpose conjugates, A1, A1, and so on. A1 transpose conjugate AN, AN transpose conjugate A1, AN transpose conjugate AN, okay? Now, since this is the identity matrix, because we said that the matrix A is unitary, we know that we need AI transpose AI. The diagonal entries must be 1, right? Okay, but I could conjugate the whole thing. So that means that the conjugate of the whole thing was that. But the conjugate of 1 is just 1. And the conjugate of that first thing is, well, the conjugate of conjugate is the thing, and here we conjugate that. Okay, but that's just the inner product of a of the complex vectors, complex vector AI with itself, right? So we're saying the inner product of a vector with itself is one. So that means that the vectors are all normal. And then if you do a similar thing for AI transpose AJ, okay, that equals must equal zero because this matrix because this matrix is the identity matrix. Conjugate everything, but conjugate of zero is just zero. And here you get AI transpose AJ. Sorry, we have that, we have that, sorry. So you get this, and that's just 
in a product with AI with AJ. So then a product of the thing with the, on each vector with another vector is zero. So that shows that the columns are orth or are orthogonal. So we've proved that the columns of an orthogonal matrix form an orthonormal set. So an orthogonal matrix is a real matrix, which satisfies a real matrix, which is where the inverse is the transpose. And we've also proved that the columns of a unitary matrix form an orthonormal set. A unitary matrix is a complex matrix where the inverse equals the conjugate of the transpose. Of course, orthogonal really is a particularization of unitary because a real valued matrix that is orthogonal is, un is unitary because when then the conjugate of real stuff is just, the conjugate of a real matrix is just the same as the matrix, right? Because real numbers stay the same when you take the conjugate. Okay. I think that's, yeah, that's enough for now. Carry on the next video. Okay.